Hi everyone, back down the river to fishing, uh, even though I don't want to, I'm forcing myself, which is odd. I'll come back to that later. Uh, hoping to catch a trout. I'm not actually that bothered. <laughs> Spot Cane Chimea Pass, 25 quid a year. It's amazing. Forceps, good, good. I've grabbed an old fly box because my um, usual fly box is so depleted it's almost become pointless taking it. But some cruddy old shop bought flies like that. I presume that's meant to be a great wolf. Twit hat or twat hat? I used to just wear old trainers for years. Then wet, cut down boots. Wading boots, really. Not for these many old sea rivers. It's so bushy down there. The thick line is good. And the last thing I want is the dreaded line twist using those great little main line paddles. Yeah, that's good. That's good. I was going to start off where I left off and skip the first couple of fields, but. There's a bit I didn't fish last week um, because I wasn't really feeling stable enough on my legs to get into the river. It's a really difficult access point. But I know no one else has fished it. I just heard a fish splash as I was walking past, so the temptation's too much. I'm gonna try and climb in. Mm, I am quietly cacking it, if I'm honest. Man, you got to go with your gut instinct. I was starting to bottle it, and uh, just as I looked up, I saw the rope further along. So, um, yeah, I'm glad I spotted that because I was getting in at the wrong spot where it's uh, quite deep. I was just looking at the current and it was uh, swirling around as if it suggests I was about to jump down into a deep hole. Right. Slide down like an otter. Here we go. That's it. <laughs> Okay, I'm still dry. Just. My God, that slides away quick. I'm glad I got the rope. Oh man, that's worth it though, isn't it? Look at that, lovely. I could offer just one single bit of advice it would be just to take your time and watch the river. The river's just starting to settle. This may fly a bit further upstream. There we go, right on cue. Well done. So the right approach, as long as I don't spook any little sprats behind him, I reckon I could get a fly to that. My back cast is uh a little bit hairy because it's just a wall of foliage, but we'll see. We took it and spat it out. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Ever so slowly came up for that. Really slowly. Take him downstream so I can net him away from the yeah, away from the area that I'm fishing. I've got a feeling we might be the only one down there. I don't think anyone's fished here apart from me this year. Barbet's hook should just fall out. nice and where it's very easy when you're clambering around to get a sweat on and get quite hot. It's so important you don't touch these fish with hot hands. Right, put that down there. Gone. So don't worry if you're f tying rubbish flies, because quite a few uh, Mayfly will come out looking like that. We completely drown that fly, but a um, quick bit of swishing around in the air like this. 
should dry it out. Just gotta be careful you don't cast the rod tip into the water. Yeah, that's dried out. That's fine. Um, that's a French partridge, shop bought French partridge. I've not had time to tie any flies this year because of the house move, but it sinks far too easily. I think it's a fulling mill. So my fly of choice out of my dreadful collection is this vulgar thing, which is a shrink tubing with a pheasant tail. A tail, looks like it's got some hen hackle and some CDT, CDC um, wings. Hopefully that'll stay afloat if I try and roll cast it. And CDC, this um, grey wing is incredibly buoyant. That's the fish that I missed with the other fly, the one that was sinking. Oh, that's good. Not a bad fish. It's absolutely oh, fly, so I think that's coming loose. So I've got both hands free. Fish is happy. Well, as happy as it's going to be. That's the fly. They're such toothy fish. That's the other handy thing about these uh, nets is you can do that, which is good. But he's got such amazing blue colours on him. I don't know if you'll pick this up on the camera. I, I do bang on about them, I know, but the colours are incredible. You get these, these blues along his head. He's got a very average adipose fin, but they've got these white lines along the, the fins, the realm, along the anal fin. As I say, look at the gnashes on that. Okay, so. There goes any chance of any trout conservation uh, jobs, <laughs> but come on, he's gone back all right. I'm not taking him home for dinner. Yeah, so I'm so glad I came out. I don't know what gets into me sometimes. I just think, ah, oh, then I'm not going to catch. I just get so much negative thoughts. Uh, it is hard work getting in and out of the river and there is always that possibility that you know um, the fish aren't having it or not having any flies in the box doesn't help either really so many reasons for not doing something compared to actually going out and doing something I've got to learn from that it's getting a bit late now nothing's really rising but I'll uh, put cast in anyway off. Well, speckless have cast hooked, hooked a sprat but not for very long. Is he off? Nope, he's still on. Where's he going? Oh, I think it's a little chublet. Is that a little chublet? It is as well. Oh, it's a little chublet. What are you doing? You know, 
start a season, you're not meant to be caught. Well, this is still tub in here, I suppose. It's a good sign. Be a very small one. there for the taking that was but I didn't prick the fish so he might come back <laughs> that is good though isn't it? it puts a smile on your face you don't have to catch fish to be happy you just need to have a chance that's all so lucky to have this on my doorstep and uh, I can't believe I didn't want to go out but there you go glad I did now mine does crazy things doesn't it um, thanks for watching and uh, yeah subscribe if you haven't subscribed if you want to <laughs> and I'll see you next time cheers